Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Leslie and today we're making some Father's Day gifts. I'm starting off by using my Cricut to cut out a design that I found on Kalula Designs. I love all their designs that they have there and they have several free ones and that is actually one of these. Um, I'm making a shirt to start with. Now it did take me a few <laughs> tries through the Cricut. I was using the wrong uh, type of material at the beginning and I need a new blade on my Cricut so <laughs> we need to add that to my shopping list um but once it actually cut all the way through and I had the right actual iron on um this just weeded beautifully and I actually enjoy weeding so much you know as long as it's working for me um I just I enjoy just watching things the images appear so it's fantastic but yeah, I, by the time I actually got to this part of, of the weeding, I was frustrated and ready to be done with this project already. <laughs> um, third time's a charm, right? Third time's the charm? Yeah. Anyway, my husband recently got a grill for Christmas this year, and he has been using it probably at least weekly, if not every other day. So I decided to make him this shirt. Um, I just picked up this t-shirt from Target and I use an iron there for uh, ironing it on because I don't have the fancy Cricut things. <laughs> but I think it came out really great and I love how it looks and I know he'll like it. Okay, and then so moving on to the second gift. Um, yes, this is me struggling because of my blade again. Guys, I really need a new Cricut blade. I'm just, I, I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and get a new one because this, um, thinner text just, you know, fought me the entire way. Um, I'm actually putting some words, uh, on a thermo flask that we got from, uh, Costco. We got it in a little pair and this one's his. Um, I found this image just on Google and it inspired me and so I created my own version of it using uh, I think it was almond cream as the font or something like that. <laughs> I have no idea where I bought the font guys. It's probably some free thing off some site and I put it on Cricut and I liked it so sorry. <laughs> I probably won't link it down below but you can just pick your own favorite font um, and just set it up in Cricut Design. Um, I just uh, started with uh, how my measurements for the, uh, it's not a flask, it's a thermos. <laughs> You'll see it here in a little bit. <laughs> um, but I just made a rectangular box and fit the words in it, um, going both directions there. Cause, and I think it'll look really neat. Uh, but yeah, these were the letterings, the thin lettering, um, fought me hardcore. So it took me a while. And then here's me struggling to get the, um, Cricut tape off there. <laughs> this is why I struggle using my Cricut here and there. Um, because I'm not graceful and I don't know all the tips and tricks. Um, and I need new blades and new scrapers. You should see a close up of that scraper guys. It's like somebody chewed on it, which in my house, I would not have been surprised if somebody chewed on it, but shh. Um, I am cutting off the excess of that just so when I go to put it on the uh, thermos that it actually fits well. And here's that thermoplast that I was showing you. Um, I've actually been using mine quite a bit. He hasn't gotten to use his since I stole it <laughs> so that I could fancy it up. Um, I love it so much. Um, I use it a lot for ice water right now. Um, with the summer season going on, um, and then I'll be using it for warm coffee. I'm just already excited for it uh, in the winter, most likely. But yeah, I really like how this design came out. It says the best dad, awesome and amazing. So it could be amazing dad, awesome dad, the best dad. Um, and I think he'll really like it. This is also where I love this Cricut tape because of the grid lines. And did you see how smooth it came off the blue backing? But then trying to stick these letters. Guys, use a different font. Just just use a different font. This is a really cute font. It hated me. Um, so that this is me. I'm fast forwarding it like 10 times and I'm still <laughs> so slow <laughs> trying to get trying to get these letters off. You 
Yeah, the, these projects took probably three days for me because of all the issues I had. Um, that t-shirt, like I said, took three or four tries to get the right um, iron-on going. And then this probably took me over an hour just to get that on. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks so cool. I love how the white uh, comes out and then that's the lid for it. Um, I just think it looks so neat and I think he'll like it a lot. All right, now we're starting with the lovely card that we're making today. Um, I am using a bunch of Jaded Blossom uh, products, the cloud stencil, the grass stencil. I do use the checker stencil as well. We're going to use the Grilly with my Nomi sentiment. Um, I won't be using the those outline dies today, but, you know, another day. And then I'm using the barbecue add-ons for the Gnome dies, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> um, here I'm showing you, I did have some of the Gnome already uh, cut out from one of my other projects. Uh, I recently did a Kendra's card challenge where I did a lot of gnomes and so I mass produced some die cutting so this is some leftovers from there. If you want to see those cards just hop over to my Instagram. All the photos are up now. I am actually going to be uh, one of the design members for Kendra's card challenge number 11 that's coming up in July so I'm super excited about that. So be checking out YouTube, checking out my Instagram to see all the things that I create with the next challenge. But today we're in Father Day mode. So um, I'm just putting this gnome together. I decided to use black on the back uh, uh, hat so that I didn't have to uh, cut out another one of the watermelons and then stick individual seeds in. You can do that and make it a little bit more... Um, even but I just like using the black and it's just uh, a little bit easier on me and my you know ungracefulness so <laughs> I love this little watermelon set um I did use a pinkish card cardstock for the watermelon a little white for the rind and then the green for the outside of it and I just think it comes out so cute um, and then here's the little tools, grilling tools. <laughs> I don't know real names, guys. I don't, I, I'm not allowed near the grill. <laughs> I will probably, I would probably end up burning myself. So, um, but these are the little grilling tools that come with the set. So, uh, I did use some metallic paper, actually a holographic paper from, uh, scrapbook.com. It's one of theirs. Um, it's called, it's literally called holographic mirror paper. So I just use one of those for anything that I perceive to be metal. And then I did make the handles blue because I like the color blue. <laughs> and I figured it would go well with the background that we're going to be making in a little bit. I'm just putting the little hands on everything. Um, and then we're going to set up the grill. Now I did uh, die cut the grill wrong. I should have... Uh, cut out the base in black just all of it but I was thinking that I would just do the bottom in black and the middle would be red but then there was a piece for the red guys just Jaded Blossom thinks of everything and all the layers so just do yourself a favor and don't do what I did but I was stubborn and didn't want to die cut uh, the base again <laughs> even though I had because I had already done it twice um and it would have been fine with just the legs, but of course there's these little handles there and I was not about to have them be red when they should be black. So, you know, anyway, so my grill ends up having more layers than it probably should, but that's okay. Nobody will know except you guys and me. So, shh. <laughs> and then my grill is a little shinier than it probably would be in real life, but shh, that's okay. It's pretty. Um, as for this lovely little steak, just, just, just go with it, guys. It's raw. It has a brown center. I originally uh, die cut it in brown, and I went, well, that just looks wrong. So it became raw, <laughs> and I'm just going to go with it. So we are going to use a, uh, make a little scene here using some ink from uh, Simon Says Stamp. I'm using the Fairway uh, Positively Saturated Inks, and then I'm going to be using the Cadet for the blue. Um, I just took the inside clouds from the cloud stencil from Jada Blossom and made a whole little scene. I decided to only do three little clouds instead of those four because I was trying not to be an overachiever because when I over try to be an overachiever, things get worse. <laughs> Thus, three times with a t-shirt, guys. I'm just saying. 
So this is just me um, ink blending around those clouds, holding them down. I had put some, uh, just some tacky tape at the back. I think that's from scrapbook.com. Um, one of the free things one day <laughs> that I decided to try out. And I actually really do like it. Um, this is me using my swatching. Oh yeah, did you see that video? I think it has one view, but you should go look at it if, you know, you're bored and like music. It has music. Um, I was just seeing which ink I would like best because I decided to do the checkered stencil um, for just a frame of my little scene. And I was trying to figure out if I wanted to match the grill or if I wanted to match the hat of the gnome. I decided to match the hat plus the ink that I'm using is literally called watermelon guys so um, the only thing that uh, turned out to be a little bit of a pain was that this stencil was not fully cut out there was pieces that had gotten stuck so it didn't get a full cut so I'm just taking my little exacto knife and the magic mat that I have and cutting those out um, it ended up working out and it's fine I've had <laughs> way worse happened before not from jaded blossom but from um discounted stencils you, you know you get what you paid for guys um but here this worked out and just getting all that completely ink blended and then I do cut this down to an A2 size, which is five and a half by four and a quarter, because my scene is five and a quarter by four. So just a little bit of a uh, frame there, but it just gives enough of that picnicky, summery <laughs> backdrop for you. <laughs> and then we're gonna start getting our scene um, figured out. So I wanted to kind of figure out how I wanted to set it up because I do want to put a sentiment on the card, which is what I am focusing on now. Um, the Grilling with My Nomies sentiment uh, are super cute um, and it does have Happy Father's Day right in it. So I decided that I wanted to um, emboss the Happy Father's Day just right on the card. Um, with some Versamark ink and then some white embossing powder. So that's what I'm setting up here. Um, I did have to kind of put my scene back on there, make sure it fits. Um, <laughs> you only get one try at this, <laughs> but that's why I'm using my little off-brand Misty. I really, <laughs> I probably should actually purchase a real one, but you know, I found this one on Amazon. It does, it works for what it is. And when you're on a budget and just starting out, you do what you do. And then eventually you purchase the good stuff that, you know, makes more sense. So this is just me pouring on that white embossing powder. This is from Ranger. Um, and then I love watching videos of you seeing the um, embossing powder melt. That was beautiful. Um, and then I decided to put the rest of that little blanket, blanket, checkered stencil inside of my card to kind of decorate that. And I put another sentiment that says, you are unbelievable, unbelievable. All right, let's finish making this card. <laughs> I'm just using um, some tape there to uh, stick the card base to the rest of it. <laughs> and then we're going to glue my gnome onto the scene. I'm just using some, where is it? I don't know what kind of, of glue. It's glue, guys. I don't know what kind of glue I use. <laughs> I don't have it in front of me either. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's called art glitter. It's art glitter glue, guys, <laughs> that I just put in a Dollar Tree little adhesive um, container so that I have the thinner uh, fine point. I'm pretty sure art glitter probably makes the fine points, but again, budget, budget. And then I am putting his little um, hands holding the spatula and I don't know. It looks like a tuning fork. I don't know what that is, guys. Let me know in the comments what that is. <laughs> and then there's my raw steak. Of course, it's on the grill. It's raw. See, that's why it's pink and red and weird colored. I think steak looks weird anyway. Anyway, I'm keeping my grill open because I thought that was cool. Um, you could also put it on the ground next to it or something like that. This set also comes with a burger and a hot dog and that probably would have been easier on me but I wanted to do the steak. Um, and then I put a little bit of foam tape on the side of that steak because like I said I made my grill lots of layers. And that is my final card. 
I think it's really cute. I think he's going to really like these presents. And I hope this gave you guys some ideas of what you can be making the fathers in your life. Whether it's your father, grandfather, father-in-law, husband, you know, all the fathers, all the men in our lives. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Like, subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you in another one soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.